And today, we have confirmed our first presumptive positive results for the new coronavirus in North Carolina. A person from Wake County recently returned home from the Washington state. Now, according to the governor and state health leaders, that person had been at the nursing home where nine people have died from the virus. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman is live at RDU tonight for us. Bridget, what do we know? Well, we know that that person traveled through here just over a week ago and wasn't experiencing symptoms at that time. Today, I spoke with other travelers who came back from Washington tonight and found out why some are worried and others aren't. Nolan Trung traveled to Seattle to take pictures for his photography portfolio. It was beautiful. It got some decent stuff that I like. We loved it. When he turned his phone back on after landing at RDU Tuesday evening, he saw the news a person from Wake County tested positive for novel coronavirus, a fear that led him to wear this face mask. So kind of scary. Wow. So I, I, I feel that I put this on for the right reason. I'm glad I did. Governor Roy Cooper says the person who tested positive for coronavirus recently flew from Washington State back home to Wake County. He says they were visiting the long-term care facility that's at the root of the outbreak in Washington. The health and safety of North Carolinians is our top priority. Governor Cooper says the person affected is doing well and is isolated at their home in Wake County. They won't be released until their symptoms are gone. We've been preparing for this and we do expect to see more cases in North Carolina. The governor's appointed a task force that's working with public health experts. They're also finding out who else was on the plane or in close contact with the affected person at RDU. And you, you know, you tend to come home on a, from a flight and if you hear people coughing, you know, you kind of go <laughs> like this, but no, we weren't worried particularly about that virus. The Penkeys flew back from Washington Tuesday night. They tell me they've researched the virus and know it has a low fatality rate. More than 80% of people affected have minor symptoms. In fact, the only thing we've been thinking Thinking, and we'll see what happens is that <laughs> there might be some really great deals coming up on travel because so many people are not going to be traveling. Now, although we have seen a lot of people tonight wearing face masks here at the airport, the CDC recommends you only wear one if you're experiencing symptoms of coronavirus or if you are a health worker. Live at RDU, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News. Great advice, Bridget. Thank you. If you have any questions about the coronavirus, you can call the statewide 24-hour hotline.